Big Papa's Battle at Barbecue Junction, Fort Pierce. This week we've got Barn Goddess, who's got a lot of culinary expertise, going against good old barbecue cook, Cowboy Barbecue. Then we've got Smoking Pink Barbecue, fantastic team, going against two crackers cooking who just won a grand last week. It's time to do battle on Big Papa's Battle at Barbecue Junction. Barn Goddess, Lauren Brazee, is one of the most intense competitors we've ever had on battle. Watch as she moves from cooker to cooker, plus works with her teammate. There's been an accident in the background. As you can hear, the bucket truck's working to try to re-erect the building, but that didn't affect Barn Goddess's cook at all. She just got right in there and went to work. She's ready to go. She was prompt, she was early, but not so much for Jimmy Cohen of Cowboys. He was a little bit late, and I think he's just trying to get his stuff out, get his stuff together. that big green ink crate tip. Looks like everybody's willing to help. And Cowboys doesn't waste any time. They're going to jump right in there. Looks like they're making biscuits to me, really. And uh, it's really exciting what they can make on these grills. Folks, there's no limit. You may as well be in your oven no, no at home. Got three cutting boards. Use sparingly. This is a brownie mix. It's one third water, one third oil, one egg. One third cup water, one third cup of oil, and egg. All right. Hey, Diane. See you guy in the bag and help you do What's that? They got any of the red part, do we? We'll, we'll find somewhere here in a minute. We got judges. I just need a, my captain. It looks like you're doing a downward pressure first and then pull it back a little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, Looks like Barn Goddess has decided that cutting up that yeah, tough yeah, meat she referred to is a good idea. Got a feeling she might do shish kebab. Mm Everglades. The cactus cactus. Stuff. Cactus stuff. It's pretty versatile and it gives it a nice color. 
These are not Boston bus, yeah. you know. What's that? These are not Boston bus. A I red? don't, oh. but I think I think Jimmy does. Now let's check on the Cowboys Barbecue. I would think if you drug it, drug it back to where the front paint is, it's probably where it was. Well, you got to drag it back and get all the nails back in. So I think when you drag it back that far, you're going to snap the whole piece. Lacey supports, Lacey supports that corner ground. I think they should have just left it until Monday. Yeah, no bear came down. And then somebody come out here and knows it. On Friday afternoon, when he wants to go home and drink a beer. Probably already had one. Probably already been there. It is South Florida. Yeah, I know it's There's two in your deal. They're probably sitting over at Duffy's. They know it's got to be safe. They all walk in. Yeah, they're sitting on it. Insurance. They already got the guys insured. Well, he didn't have any. That's the reason they went home. The police went right down there. I ain't going to work. 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 Hey, I get to stay up. I did a long week. Drink beer all week. Thank you. I hope you turn those wings into cauliflower. That's pretty damn good. It's tricky. I missed that trick. Everglades seasoning out over here. He's going for the peaches. I didn't get that earlier. Well, Jimmy and them are floating along pretty good. Barn goddess looks like they might need some discussion on what they're doing. We don't have insurance. Back at the ranch while Cowboys is getting their cauliflower and their bacon bomb together. Barn Goddess is building some shish kebabs and working on some other great food. I've never seen any team cook that much stuff on Big Papa's Battle. This woman is burning a damn trail over here. <laughs> I 
I gotta give this woman a barbecue superstars. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Tell us a little bit about your restaurants. I know you got three restaurants in the Fort Pierce area. Yeah, I competed in uh, barbecue. I retired when I was 36. I started competing in barbecue with Dana. Jimmy Bros, Rub, all the old timers. And uh, then I got kind of bored competing. And I thought, what would I do better than um, being on the road barbecuing all the time? And I thought, well, in a restaurant where you make money on the food you cook it would be fun so I opened one up and then we're four years old now we have three and um, we kind of got into a lot more of the barbecue now it's a lot of fun and what are they called cowboys cowboys yeah there's one right up the road here oh. sweat Gourmet is as close as your backyard. Big Green Egg, the ceramic cooker that offers unmatched flexibility for year-round outdoor cooking. The Egg is a grill, a smoker, and an oven. It can sear a steak, slow cook tender barbecue, or bake a crispy crust pizza. Meat, poultry, fish, vegetables, and even dessert will be the best you've ever tasted. Take home a Big Green Egg and enjoy perfectly cooked meals all year long. Find your local Big Green Egg dealer at www.biggreenegg.com. Where shopping is a pleasure, it's not just something we say. It's in everything we do. And part of what makes shopping a pleasure is saving money. So we happily put thousands of items on sale every day and have Publix brand products that save you money but never skimp on quality. Because as nice as it is to have an extra hand, it's great to have some extra change too. Love to shop here. Love to save here. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Jimmy's taking his final step before he puts it all together. It's almost time for turn in. <laughs> You can tell them real chefs they slice on an the angle. They never slice straight down, yeah. they slice on an the angle. That's a real chef thing. Yeah, sausage both well, right. Need an electric knife. No, you don't. You just need a serrated knife. Or you want to play the cord. <laughs> You want me to tell you it's like nine minutes or you want to tell you it's like five minutes? Uh, yeah, five minutes. You five minutes. If you don't win, what's going to be your name? It's, uh, get a smoke. <laughs> Sauce. 
that I'm putting these in is good. You sure they look good. I, I just, they, they pop us off, so oh, I trust that, in them. The last 10 times you use that sauce is well with it. That's a barbecue Four superstar on the Hell yeah. www.bigpapascountrykitchen.com Big Papa's Country Kitchen. What, what about it? He just got his website up and soon he'll have his sauces on there where you can buy them. He said if we win, that it's his sauce. If we lose, it's smoking nice smoke. Except <laughs> <laughs> <a> cowboy brew. <laughs> Okay, let's do the match. How many wings is there? Twelve. So each time we get three? Four. I got 103 of math, I know this. 103 out of 100? Yes. I don't believe it. Plus, plus, plus. How does that work? Jimmy, you got one minute. It's time, bro. Comes, folks. <laughs> Cowboys. Cowboys. I will look at presentation. He'll do the Jimmy McCoy from Cowboys Restaurant and Big Daddy's Q and Infamous Barbecue. Cool guy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We have a smoked sausage. We took a sausage like a Jimmy Dean sausage that you eat for breakfast and we smoked it. We season it up with um, barbecue rub, brown sugar, put it on the cooker, slowly smoked it. It's been smoking about four hours here. We took uh, cauliflower, we soaked it in butter. It sat in butter overnight and then we chopped it up, put it with some grilled onions and cheese. The chicken wings marinated in Italian dressing overnight. We pulled them out, put them on the grill, rolled them in barbecue sauce, put them on the grill again. They should be good and sticky. Don't eat the pepper. <laughs> there you go. The boxes are really messy because uh, take get your appearance store, your presentation store down, and then dig in. So the sausage is your appetizer, and the chicken and cauliflower is your. Tell me what All right, folks, look at the judges for any indications, whether they like it or don't. Sometimes an indication is how much they eat. Is it okay? Guys have heard of the new Florida peaches they got out. Come from the University of Florida. We have um we have peach trees in Florida now. They've got three times the amount of sugar as the um, peaches out of Georgia. We took these peaches out of our yard. Davy, he's got one and then I got one. We brought them over here for a fierce bread with the chip. And we here she comes. Here we go. Hello, boy. Oh, my God, it's barbecue. Okay, so what I've done for you today, I'm going to open it at the same time. Oops, sorry. Oh, you're good. We prepared a mock tenderloin um, and also a meatball in the middle of the kebab, uh, wrapped in bits of bacon. We've done roasted vegetables for your side dish and for the appetizer today, we've done a buttermilk uh, soaked slightly breaded wing for you. And the dipping sauce is buttermilk, cream cheese, and um, the, I'm trying to think, the uh, new rub from uh, Everglades Pizza Soup. And we cooked the kebabs on the fast steady. The, actually, we started the wings on the big egg, but we had problems with our temperature, which was, you know, not knowing that item real well. And then we ended up doing the bacon and the meatballs on the metal cream. Thank you.
Is this the first one? This is the first one. No, this is the second one. Second one, no? And she even made sauce to go with it. What was the dessert? Minute. Should we be coming in with a reserve? I'll go get your stuff out later. Thank you, y'all. Thank you. We appreciate it. Each dollar was tough to get out of my cup. <laughs> cookers in the whole industry, Meadow Creek, built well, lasts a long time, and light enough to handle. Get yourself a Meadow Creek today. Let's just watch a few minutes as we watch all the fantastic food cooked on a Meadow Creek. Jim Plank today at 941-320-1090. Jim Plank's a wonderful guy, top dealer. Get in touch. Get a Meadow Creek.
Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Smoke and Pink is a team that I'm not familiar with, but it looks like they got the stuff together. They got some great logos and stuff together. Let's see what happens. If you look in the last video, Incognito was a young lady right here with a different shirt on. It said, Blitz Creek Barbecue on it. Yes, it did. <laughs> Yes, I did. And now she's smoking pink. I am smoking pink. Let's Creek gave me a pink shirt, and I was there. <laughs> oh, you got pink, pink tablecloth. Absolutely. Good luck. Good luck. Does that mean she's the she's the head cook? You are. Wow! I didn't know that. Shoot, I gotta get you yeah. listed in the women's corner. Lori Pitboss. Oh, I didn't know uh, that. Yes, no. Well, give us your name right quick. Sir? What's your name? Lori. Uh, Lori. Lori, okay. Lori. And everybody, I tell you. These packers cooking like they're starting off with a cake. And they've got their green peppers out. Might be some stuffed green peppers on the way up. That's your dessert right there. We hope so. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, hold on. It worked out pretty good. Uh, well, I don't have a slide. <laughs> well, no, I mean, you know me, I'm, I'm all bronze. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Pretty good. Dang right. <laughs> Grand champion, two crackers. Oh, yeah. They won grand champion last week, y'all. <laughs> Looks good, buddy. It does look good. The business is taking me into the new recovery. Looks like they're wrapping up some pork with some bacon. You know you can't ever lose when you do that. Gotta go to school to become a chef. 
Hey, she's packing it back up. She's got to go. Oh. Oh, got it going. Got it going. Got it going. Bob from Two Crackers Cooking done me some big time stuffed green peppers. Oh, look at that good. Tim, put it in your box and then decorate it. Melt the box. Oh. That's true. I want to eat one of those. <laughs> What? And there was a Q-tip thing in there. How the hell did he divide that up into three pieces? That's what I want. Very careful. Did I, huh? Very careful. Pretty good spread going on out there now. No pressure, but you know, the only thing is separating y'all. Rubs prison shit, though. Here. All in prison. It is. No, didn't you say we had to have extra people to taste? Did I say what? I ain't gonna have no extra. It's okay. <laughs> if you've got extra, extra anything, you we'll have extra. extra enough. Enough. If you have extra, put it in a little cup and don't let Marco pick it up off the tray. Oh no point. Yeah, because he's liable to come back. I have a finger too. <laughs> 20 to 7. So we get 12 winners. Then we're going to go back to the four guys. We're going to go back to the four guys. We're going to go back to the four guys. We're going to go back to the four guys. We're going to go back to the four guys. We're going to go back to the four guys. We're going to go back to the four guys. We're going to go back to the four guys. We're going to go Okay, oh, sorry. Was that a good comeback? Oh, Did is there a, uh, this? Shaky pudding? Oh no! I've got to eat your food! <laughs> oh. If I'd have known this. Hey, butter makes everything better. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Something's burning over there behind you, Dennis. Oh, that's not a good thing to say to somebody at this point in time. <laughs> you meet, probably. <laughs> Get your gloves and uh, You got three minutes. We got it. All we got to do is three minutes.
grilled potatoes with bacon and broccoli and a cheese sauce. Mark down your presentations for and then your cards. And there you go. <laughs> now, they'll be back with the dessert. Yeah, you got two, three minutes. Enjoy this and get ready to score. And, and, and they'll bring like I say, right, mark Thank down your you. presentation score. Yeah. If you're one and five, turn your card over. Then enjoy. Whatever, whatever. Well, you taste it first, Diane. I don't give you a Well, you don't. Well, you don't the presentation score should be marked down before you should. Do you have any questions? Excuse me? Oh, really? Oh, no, 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 are you a certified culinary? Go right, go right, go right, go right. I think the last time she's Italian. She is Italian. We do have a. We do have a. I I should probably warn you. If you don't score very well, that gentleman over there, her husband, will catch you on the road, and he is the deputy sheriff. There you go. What kind of yeah, table captain are you? Hey, I'm just giving him the facts, bro. Right? <laughs> Here we go, just the facts, man. Oh, am I in my mom's room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Marty, you looking for more ice or something? And I'm taking this. Can we take looking for another topic? Yeah, you're the whole box of yours. Yeah, okay. I've got my, I've got my, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, dear. Mark down your scores. I'm not telling you to have blue eyes. I'm not telling you to have blue eyes. On the dessert, when they bring the dessert out, don't mark down the score. You can always taste both desserts. Then at the conclusion of both desserts, which is the next hit of food practice, we will mark down which dessert is the best. You just put an X. Get her scorecard. Here, is this an Irish wolf? No, he's a lamb. Oh my god. Is this good? Yeah, I think it's good. We'll set these aside. You know, it's tasty. Did you get your score all night? I'm done. I'm done. What, like Carol? Yeah. Or like Bubbles? Whatever you want. Yeah. Bubbles. Yeah. Is that yours? Yeah. 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 Um, four. Four. It's a little four and bubbles. Okay. Don't be scared. Ooh. What are you doing? Put it away. Oh, yeah. 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 And for your dessert pleasure, we have a brownie delight. Turn, turn your card over. Brownie delight. Brownie delight. Smoking pizza. Whoa, Nelly! <laughs> you got a whoa, Nelly on. Whoa, Nelly! Okay, Hey, I can't touch your drink, you can't touch his dessert. So you're going to have my drink. He's in your interference. Okay. Are we all good? And it's fab. It's fab. Okay, great. What is it, a brownie? Oh, uh, well, no. Oh, 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 now remember, you got to pick one of the two desserts, so you can't pick this one until you've tried the other one. I know, I know. Yeah, chocolate cake I vote for everybody. Get your, get your fingers off of my head. Now, since, since I talked to him about baby, baby blue eyes, he's trying to get... That's like one of those tots. He's trying to get... Yeah, you're trying to get favors, aren't you? You're trying to get favors. And I'm much worse. Yes, you are. Oh my god. <laughs> it's good. It's fabulous. Oh. That's why I asked if you're going to test. 
Girl. Yeah. I think that's what they call an orgasm chocolate cake. Orgasm. Yeah. Orgasm. I was thinking that, but I didn't say it. I think that's what they call it. Orgasm chocolate cake. Two crackers cooking is presenting you what they cooked for you. Dennis, let them know what you got, buddy. Uh, uh, a little bit of food. Well, is that polenta? Cornbread. Oh, it's wow. It's cold. Oh, I don't know what you got. I did for appearance. Stuffed bell peppers. That's Italian. I know what it is. It's cornbread. But in Italy, it's called polenta. And it is like top notch. I can't believe it. We got polenta for you. Cook some polenta for you. That's very nice of you. Yeah, Italian cornbread. Dave, if you put the score down, Karen, you get your presentation score down. Presentation score. Dive in. Yeah. 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 Come in here, dear. I know. Tim, Tim what, what's in the pepper? No, but this is mom, isn't it? Yeah, in the pepper. Sausage and, and, uh, and I love them. Rice. Rice. Yellow rice. Okay, there is yellow rice, sausage, yeah. and egg. That looks like egg. a little yeah. cheese. Got um, cheese in it. Yeah. Oh, oh, you want the and, uh, rock, and the Let me taste the broccoli. The broccoli is a little bit not so. The broccoli is a little bit overcooked. Mine is 470 points. I'm kidding. I made money. I made money. I made money. <laughs> Don't let them see what you write. Go, uh, yeah. I'm go done. get your dessert. I'm done. I'm done. I know. I know. Go get your dessert. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm keeping this. I'm not I don't know. Well, no, no, it's one to five. Well, whatever I have to do. You gotta go to this No, it's good. We have a patient here. I can walk with that. Get your ass over there. Let's do the live. Now, I'll do two desserts. You got brownie. Chocolate. Uh, uh, Alex? Uh, 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 no, he's tr he's trying to act like I'm not a good judge. Is he acting like I'm not a good judge? <laughs> Let me tell you, he he deals with more judges than anybody in America. <laughs> now, of the desserts that you tasted, the first, number or one, the second, or, two, or number two, what's to be your favorite? Put an X by your face. Uh, I'm going to go back now. I'll let you know the results. Put an X by the one we like. Yeah, whichever dessert you like the best. That's our tiebreaker. What we'll do is we'll add up the scores. So we pick one or two. Yeah, you just pick one as your winner on dessert. Which one do you think is the best? Do we have another one? Really? Yeah, she's got it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh,
We've cooked six years at the American Royal. <laughs> the first year we were here, we won first place chicken. I was here for that. I was not here for reserve. When reserve you were grand champion. I was here for for the first place chicken, but I was yeah. not here for reserve. Uh, Bob was reserve grand champion. So here we don't have American a chance Royal. this year with yeah. him here. <laughs> That's right. I, go, I come every other year. We were the American Bass Anglers Team of the Year cooking with our uh, FE, our cook shacks, and uh, we really enjoyed that. They did a good job for us, and we were able to uh, win. And team the early of the year. times is the American Bass Anglers' main sponsor. That's right. The thing is that you get a little sleep at night, and you don't That's have right. to sit there and worry about the moisture content of fuel and all these other bad things that can happen to these guys. And uh, we can't over smoke, and uh, we get plenty of uh, great taste in it, and uh, we wouldn't trade them for the world. That's right. I really like the constant temperature, too, that we can set it. Where shopping is a pleasure. Really wish I could be there this year. I miss you guys. We're going to miss you, too. We all understand. Dr. Bruce, tell him please. Yeah. Dr. Bruce. I should probably get going. I love you, Mom. I love you, too, sweetie. Bye. So are you going to see family? No. They're all up at my parents. I'll see you tomorrow. Anybody know where the calendar is? Yes, I do. You and Grandma make those cookies? Hey, Mom. Uh, I almost forgot. I wish everyone happy holidays for me. Of course I will. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Now our first two rounds are over, and Barn got us, and two crackers cook with one, and move on. Barn Goddess is moving on. These guys aren't wasting any time. They've got their stuff together and they are ready to go. Oh, my God. 
I'm going to rotate this way. Lori, what do you think? I'm going on to that. Hey, i got to ask you a question. Okay. Have you ever cooked a lobster before? Absolutely. She cooked a lobster before. So you're a show. Huh? Hey, you know what? I could actually I use that. I used to catch lobsters. You don't eat lobsters. I don't know what to say, but Barn Goddess is in Cadillac mode, boy. She is rolling. She's got more dishes going on than I can count, and she knows exactly what she wants to do next every second. And look at that spread on that table. Barn Goddess, hell yeah!
just got to make do with what we got. That's exactly right. You know, because we didn't have anything going on today. Hey, i got to ask you a question. Okay. Have you ever cooked a lobster before? Absolutely. Keith cooked the lobster before. I know, you're a Huh? Hey, you know what? I could actually use that. He doesn't have any problem. He doesn't have any problem barring things. Hell no. There's a lot of pressure in those oil. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> that's what the little 150 thing on there says. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason there's a 150. Yeah. And, you know, the worst it's not thing. the F-cat store on him. I couldn't reach around to turn it off, so I had to try to put that back in there while it's <laughs> uh, It's a learning experience. Yeah. And, uh, I think you probably learned. I bet you don't do it again. Yeah. Or if you do, I'll feel really bad about the educational system in the state of Florida. What's up, bro? I am not coming. Good, you know? He's doing a rough week here. He's had a rough week. Yeah. Yeah. You don't care. He'll win today. I don't care. He'll probably win. That's what I told him. That's what I said last night. Yeah. Well, about, one, about one o'clock. Well, I guess he'll end up winning walking around. We'll start with you at all. Well, he got bigger about once one o'clock got here and he walked in his trailer and didn't move until chicken turned in. I was actually surprised to see him before the chicken turned in. Hey now. Did my message get that? Yes, it did. I see Marco. I'll wait till get that. Green pepper again. Green pepper yellow eye. Good lord! Beep! Time's up, you're out. Too bad. Turn him. We get him! Public is still open. We still got time for five more entrees. Yeah! <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Argos is done three minutes early. Hope it don't get cold. Man, she knocked that plate right on out of there. Gourmet is as close as your backyard. Big Green Egg, the ceramic cooker that offers unmatched flexibility for year-round outdoor cooking. The egg is a grill, a smoker, and an oven. It can sear a steak, slow-cook tender barbecue, or bake a crispy crust pizza. 
meat, poultry, fish, vegetables, and even dessert will be the best you've ever tasted. Take home a Big Green Egg and enjoy perfectly cooked meals all year long. Find your local Big Green Egg dealer at www.biggreenegg.com. Where shopping is a pleasure, it's not just something we say. It's in everything we do. And part of what makes shopping a pleasure is saving money. So we happily put thousands of items on sale every day and have Publix brand products that save you money but never skimp on quality. Because as nice as it is to have an extra hand, it's great to have some extra change too. Love to shop here. Love to save here. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. That are sign up and say, yeah, let me cook. And they get a basket of goodies, they don't know what it is. And here's your basket. And, and like yesterday, they had uh, pork corn. Okay, like country style ribs. And you might get some sausage. You know, they might, they had a brownie. It seemed like brownies with the, with the dinner, with the, with the dessert. Now they might have a cake. Or something. And they, they've got several different, they've got an egg, they've got a, 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 we a, a, a what we call a lodge Dutch oven cooker. Cast iron cooker. they got a fast eddy, a metal creek, uh, and uh, they use whatever they need to get the job done. <laughs> they got, how long, how long do they have to prepare the meal? They started at three. So they got one hour. One hour and fifteen. One hour and fifteen. And it's probably mm -hmm. one hour. The second team that loses or wins the flip of the coin has a little bit longer. The second team, uh, you know, they can prepare a little bit longer and it's uh, kind of an advantage. One minute, team. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you? You look familiar to me. How are you doing? Mr. Yeah. Miller? Yeah, right. We judge for it before. Daniel, yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, we've got two professional barbecue teams here that are prepared. They didn't have a clue what they got. So, one hour and 15 minutes ago, they opened their coolers, got their stuff up, and they prepared for something pretty decent. Good. Are you ready? Come on, bring it. They're going to present their entrees first. You get three or four minutes, Marty told you. And then they'll bring the desserts, judge those. Please, if you write your scores down, flip your cards over so nobody sees anybody's scores, what you're doing there as you can. I don't want you to hurt their feelings if you only give them a one. And, uh, oh, I think you're going to give them a lot of fives. <laughs> We've had a lot of fives in this program. Well, you got to understand, most of these teams are up uh, all night. Greetings. Hey, how are you? Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. Anyway, uh, what we've prepared for you today is Florida Buck Lobster. We've done a uh, boat with a mock crab, which means fake crab, uh, not produced by an actual crab in Florida. Um, it's got cheese and cherry tomatoes. We put that on the fast steady. We did a um, shrimp skewer and seasoned it with a grilling mop sauce from Everglades Seafood. The pineapple Thank you very much. I'll have dessert back for you in a minute.
benefit the Humane Society of St. Lucie County. I want to recognize our sponsors again. Our platinum sponsor was St. Lucie Battery and Tire and Cooper Tires. Our other sponsors, Harbor Community Bank, Tri-County Animal Hospital, uh, White's Tackle, uh, MD Financial Services, and many, many more. And we really appreciate you coming out and supporting this, and please support our sponsors because without them, we couldn't have this competition. So thank you again. And I'm going to turn it over to Dana, and he's going to announce the winner of the battle at Barbecue Junction. We have four great teams show up to do battle this weekend. We had uh, Smoke and Pink uh, did battle against two crackers cooking. And uh, Smoke and Pink came out on top and was in the final today. Um, also yesterday we had Cowboys against... Uh, Barn Goddess, and Barn Goddess won that round, so it was Barn Goddess against two crackers cooking today, and the champion winner some cash and a nice banner is Barn Goddess Barbecue. What do you got, Barbecue? Yeah. Yeah. The dishes that these teams, they got four cookers cooking, they got a Dutch oven, they got a green egg, they got a... Uh, Battle Creek Charbroiler and a PG 500. Some of them have never even cooked on before. The judges were lucky because the food that these guys turned out was awesome. Thanks, everybody. This is it for this week's Big Thomas Battle at Barbecue Junction. Congratulations to Barn Gallus. 
make sure to call Dana L. Hillis and sign your competition up. This has been the Barbecue Superstars Television Network.